Good morning, Finley Dreamers. Good morning, Mrs. Adams. And good morning, Finley Scholars. Good morning, Mr. Miller. Good morning, Finley family. And good morning, Mr. Kirby. I saw another beautiful sunrise today, and we have had a few people call Finley already this morning thinking about this week. Remember, today and tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday, we have online school with you. And the rest of the week, we will be at home for Thanksgiving break. You can always call the school or talk to your teacher and ask about what is going on. But before we continue, I have a big shout out. Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> I have a big shout out for Mrs. Rivard's third graders. They were thinking and wondering what they could do to show gratitude. And they wrote letters to the second grade students and gave them tips about how to read and how to read when it gets hard. So shout out to you, Mrs. Rivard's class. Wonderful. And you know, I have to say this, a shout out to all those classes last week that had 90% or above participation. You know, participation again could mean that you're on teams, you're doing Canvas, ST Math, Epic, meeting with teachers in small groups or individually. There's so many ways to participate and learn at the same time. But here we go with these classes 90% or above. Mrs. Boudreaux's class, Mrs. Dow's class, Mrs. Font's class, Mrs. Jinx's class, Mrs. Nelson's class. Mrs. Osborne's class, Mrs. Rivard's class, Mrs. Roberts Varghese's class, Mrs. Smith's class, Mrs. Spritzer's class, Ms. T's class, and the top three, Mrs. Jinx, number one, Mrs. Roberts Varghese, number two, and Mrs. Boudreaux, number three. Congratulations. Keep up the good work. Wow, that's impressive. That I counted, I think, 11 classes. That's fantastic. And of course, these students are all staying online and coming back to their afternoon meetings too, right, Mr. Miller? Ye oh, yes. Good reminder. School is all day long. Man, and we're so lucky to have each other to look forward to. And these classes, 90% or more participation tells me that we have students that A, want to learn, and B, appreciate their peers and seek them out to learn more. And that's such a great gesture by the third grade and, and Ms. Rivard's class to send words of encouragement and some, uh, because things do get tough. And I had a moment this weekend with my family, and of course, we're looking at a holiday break that looks very different than any holiday break we've ever had. and. Many of you know I have a second grade daughter and I have an almost three year old daughter. And my second grade daughter was really upset and she was sad because there are lots of things that have changed and some things we don't get to do this year. And I told her that that's okay to feel that way. Adults feel that way. It's okay to be angry or scared or sad about things that change, especially now. But I can tell you, this will not last forever. We will not have to wear masks forever. We will get to go back to being a full school someday. And it might be a little bit longer, but I want everyone to hold on to hope and continue to do the right thing. Wash your hands, keep a safe distance from people that you don't live with, wear a mask when you go out and make the most of the time that you do have with your loved ones. This won't, this won't last forever because you have a bright future, Finley Scholars. You have a bright future that may include college. So who's ready for a college cheer?